Hi everyone, it's James. You're looking at my brand new PCX125. It's a 2021 model. I ordered this a month ago and I just picked it up yesterday. Look at it. It's so futuristic. I can tell you it's a big improvement compared to my last PCX. It's comfortable. It's fuel efficient. I ordered black, but if you walk up close to the bike, it has a sparkly metallic look to it. It's really cool. This new PCX model features a brand new frame, a new and more powerful and efficient four valve ESP plus engine. It has beautiful LED lights. The wheels are 14 inch front and 13 inch rear. The front brake is equipped with ABS anti-lock braking system, so when you need to stop, it'll really stop. ABS. Very nice. Luckily, it's a beautiful sunny day, and look at the body. It's sparkling. Beautiful. Honda. What a beautiful design. Looking on the right side of the bike, Look at it. It's sleek. PCX. Check out the passenger footrest. Wow. It looks like a wing. I'm going to open up the other one. Cool. I love the way it's flapped. Up and down. Up for closing, down to open. It's sort of like an airplane. Going back to the other side, going to close this up and here is an air vent. This is where you check your oil. Moving on, check out these shocks, black shocks. Wow, let's check out the right side mat, beautiful body. It's removable and it is made of rubber. See, wash it and dry it and put it back. Looking under the bike, there is the center stand. It has a beautiful exhaust. Look at it. It looks like a laser cannon. The rear wheel is wider. Actually, the front wheel is also wider. It has increased air volume, improved linear handling, performance, and shock absorption. The back safety guard was taken from my old PCX. You see me squeezing the rear tire. Yep, it's full of air. <laughs> Beautiful black shocks. I know my ride is going to be nice and soft. Continuing on the left side, here is the ESP Plus engine. Enhanced smart power. Don't forget to say plus. <laughs> plus. Okay, moving on. There is the center stand and the side stand right here. If the engine's on and you kick out the side stand, it'll cut off the engine. PCX on the left side. The body is so beautiful. It's sparkling. Let's move up to the handlebar and the controls. Starting from the left. You have a left mirror. And you have a high beam, low beam, a horn, signal switch left, push in to cancel, signal switch right, cancel, chrome ends, Honda in the center. Oh, before I forget, let me show you this amazing smart key. No more traditional key anymore. You have this. By pressing the bottom button, if it's red, it means it's not activated. If it's green, it's activated. The bike is activated when you are standing near the bike with the key. Okay, I'm just going crazy. Anyway, let's look at this uh, beautiful seat. It is fantastic. It's really comfortable. I know because I rode this home. Okay, let's look at these controls on the right. 
pressing this dial allows you to turn it. Just a sec. I'll press that button again. Okay, look. It lit up blue, so it, it is activated. Do you see the word push right here? Turning the dial to the right activates this. Oh, you didn't see that. It has a clock, a speedometer, a fuel gauge. You can change the time by pressing the cell, S-E-L, and the set button here. You can reset the trip meter. I didn't have this feature on my last PCX, so I need some practice. I am attempting to reset it, and there it is. It's reset to zero. And to my right, there is ABS, braking system, light is on, and the T, I'm not too sure, maybe the transmission. Let's look at the key area. I'm going to turn the dial to my left to the seat and fuel. Press the seat and it pops up. Look at it. Look at all the space. A lot more space than my previous PCX. I love the bigger storage space. I can put groceries and put my helmet there and it comes with a tool bag and this manual from my bike shop. This is where the battery compartment is. Just open it like that, plus minus. And inside this battery compartment, I think it's to my left, is a secret keyhole that allows you to start your engine without your key in case you lose your key. Anyway, moving on, let's find the coolant area. Now, it, it used to be here in my old PCX. I don't see it. Oh well. Here are some specs about this compartment. It's so wide. It's uh, the tire pressure for the front and back. Let's close the seat and move up to the front. Let's move up to the front and I will show you how to open up the fuel compartment. Okay, it's still set and press the fuel button hard and the door should open up. Remove the cap and there is a cap holder right here. Cool, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to close it up. Turning the dial to the O position turns it off. Pressing the dial button engages it. Look at the blue light. I am going to lock the handlebar, but I need to do this first. I am going to turn the handlebar to the left, then press in to the lock position, and turning it furthermore locks and turns off the bike. I am going to activate the bike. I am going to press in. It lights up and look at the key mark, then turn the dial all the way to the left. And look at that. One more time. Look at the LCD. Engaged. Okay, let's look at the controls on the right handlebar. This button is the starter. This is the hazard light. And the switch above it is the idling off and on. Then you have the right brake and the throttle. Moving back to the left side, I am going to show you the controls again, starting with the lights. Up is for the high beam in blue. You can see it there. Down is off. The bike is equipped with a sensor that automatically detects when it's dark um, the light is not on because it's bright. Next is the horn. Then you have the signal switch left and right. This is left. Let's take a look at it. Left. And in the back. 
Okay. Pressing it in, turns it off. Switching it to the right. The right light from the front. And in the back. I'm going to switch the light off and let's hear the horn. There. <coughs> Loud. Let's check out the hazard lights. Cool. Very nice. Very nice. I am going to start it up. A beautiful sound. Let's look at the LCD. Okay, I am going to the right side. I'm going to... Increase the speed. Oh, I need more gasoline. Looking at the switch with the two A's, you have idling off and idling on. With idling off, it allows you to turn off your engine temporarily, saving you fuel and helping the environment. This is the throttle. I need more gasoline, and I really like this fuel gauge. Right now, there are three bars. I can't wait to check out the display at night. Notice the ABS light is on. That is the anti-lock braking system. This is an added feature that gives you the confidence that your bike will stop when you need to. The new 2021 PCX bike is truly beautiful. Futuristic, comfortable, and easy to ride. I can't wait to ride it some more. I might make a video or two on my riding experience. I almost forgot to show you this compartment on the left side. Pressing this opens up a compartment. There is a USB-C charging port and a bottle storage. Now how useful is that? Fantastic. Don't worry about getting dust in the port. There is a little rubber stopper that will block out the dust. I just love the storage. I hope my video provided you with some information about this beautiful bike and maybe you'll get one for yourself. Bye now.